Hello, this is a quick video on how to measure your dog for a Lutie harness. What you're going to need is a soft measuring tape and your dog standing, okay? Not sitting. Please take measurements of your dog while it's sitting. Um, for quick visual effect, this mannequin was specially made for us. Um, we provided the measurements and this doggy sized mannequin right here, just for visual effect on the video, is an extra small dog, about four and a half pounds, and on the Lutie sizing chart, it's about a size two, okay? But you're gonna measure your own dog's measurements, your own pet's measurements. So again, for this mannequin that we're um, demonstrating on, you're gonna measure the neck first, okay? So you're gonna, you're gonna measure around the smallest part of the neck, and on here, it's about a seven and a half. Um, we're gonna ask you, please do not add any extra measurement. Don't stick your finger underneath, don't make it a little bit bigger because we're gonna add all of that um, extra ease on our end and we don't want it to be like too big. So just round up the measurement, don't squeeze it really tight, just measure around the smallest part of the neck. Here, let me move this. Around the smallest part of the neck for your pet, okay? The second measurement is going to be around the girth they call it the chest measurement as well um that's going to be about an inch and a half or so behind their front legs like right right behind like their shoulder bicep area so what it is on the dogs um it's thinner right by their tummy and it goes out around their rib cage so our luti harnesses kind of measure about half the width of the entire back of the dog a half or a little bit half so we want you to measure around this point right here about an inch behind the front legs and on this mannequin it says like 11 and a half inches okay and we're good on that the third measurement from the back of the lower neck right here where it connects to so I can show you where it connects to the shoulder blades just right behind their neck where it connects to the torso of the doggy all the way to right where the tail kind of starts where it's connected to your dog in the back, all right? So you're gonna measure that width, and here we have like eight and a half. And then on our harnesses, we kind of take that measurement, we divide them in half, and maybe a little bit less. It depends on the style of the design that you pick. Um, we just kind of figure out what we think is gonna look best. And every doggy body is different, so um, a lot of times the custom measurements help. So that's that for the measuring. The second part we're gonna show you real quick on how to put on one of these harnesses in case you're new to the harness world and you have a new pet. Um, we find that it's best, easiest to maybe take the front way approach first. So you're gonna put it around the doggy's neck. You're gonna put it around and I would suggest making sure you have a couple fingers that fit underneath. And then you're gonna pinch, pinch, pinch all the Velcro closed so it's nice and tight, okay? So everything's stuck together. And then you twist it around on your little doggy and your pet, and you put it underneath the belly part next, like that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And then when you take it off, you just undo the belly in the front and kind of hold on to it so you don't yank them too much. Voila, easy, off and on, all right? To summarize really quickly again, three measurements. The first one right around the total circumference of the smallest part of the neck. The second one is the girth of the doggy right around here. And the third one is right where the back of the neck meets the shoulders all the way across to where the tail is attached to the doggy. We need those three measurements. And then we're gonna make something beautiful for you. Thanks so much. I hope this is helpful. Bye.